everyone and welcome to my channel and today I'll be reading a Dazai Accessioner by me. So let's get into it. You stand in front of your closet, trying to decide on what to wear for your date with Dazai. It's been a while since the two of you have gone out and you want to make sure you look good. You want this date to be special and you are going to do your damn best to achieve that. And after staring into your mirror for a while, looking at different shirts and different skirts, and even dresses, and quite a little bit of consideration, you sit on a short skirt and a blouse, hoping that it's not too dressy for the occasion. But you couldn't deny that you looked good in it, and that's exactly the result that you had wanted. You wanted the attention to be on you today. You, and nothing else. And as you make your way to the restaurant, you can't help but feel a little bit self-conscious even though you are confident in the outfit that you had picked. What if Dazai doesn't like it? What if it's too much? What if it doesn't look right on you? What if he doesn't like the colors? So many doubts and questions come into your head, and you try your absolute best to ignore each and every one of them in favor of keeping a smile on your face and being confident. He always told you you needed to have more faith in yourself because he loved you and nothing in the entire world would change that. So surely whatever you chose, you would like it to some extent. And that's when you spot him coming in. Your heart is skipping a beat as you take in his handsome face and the clothes that he's wearing. You stand up to greet him and give him a hug. And then he gives you a smile, wrapping his arms around you for a short period of time before breaking away. But of course, not without leaning in to give you a soft kiss on the cheek. Hello, darling, he says. And you smile softly. And you sit down. That has eyes flickering through your skirt. A small smile playing at the corner of his mouth. You look stunning, he whispers, his voice low, and you can feel a desire in him. The way he just thinks that you look so beautiful, it makes your heart beat faster and faster, like you were running on a treadmill, but all you were running on was that rush of joy and excitement that you got after. You feel a flush spread across your cheeks. And you can't tell but smile in response. If you were to be honest, you felt like you were the luckiest person in the entire world. To be with someone, just like Dazai. Someone who could make you feel this way. With just a few words or a look of his eyes. And as you meet, Dazai tells you about his latest mission. Describing the details in his usual dramatic fashion. And you listen with rapt attention, hanging on his every word. After all, you could never get bored of hearing him. His voice is soothing, and the way you could be so expressive sometimes, it always made things fun and utterly adorable. You could never truly forget about any conversation that you've had with him. And after dinner was over, the two of you decided to go on a walk. And you walk through the city, hand in hand. You talk about everything and nothing, enjoying the simple pleasure of having each other's company. Because simply said, that was the most important thing in the world for you too. And as you pass by a small park, Dazai pulls you towards him, his arms gently wrapping around your waist. And you can feel his breath on your neck, and you shiver, your face getting red. Honestly, you weren't prepared for him to do this. Sometimes, you could be totally casual, and he would catch you off guard with things like this. That's why you found your breath hitching when he touched your shoulder and kissed your cheek. You know, my love, he says, his voice low and husky. I can't stop thinking about you in that skirt. 
You look absolutely irresistible, he says, smiling, and your heart flutters in your chest, beating so quick for me that you're almost scared and worried. You turn to face him, your eyes immediately locking onto his. Is that so? You say, a teasing lilt to your voice. Gazai leans in with a white smile, his lips gently brushing against yours in a soft, gentle kiss. Of course, he murmurs, his breath warm against your skin, making you feel way too many feelings to describe, feeling like your heart was on fire. Gazai only smiles at you, his eyes looking absolutely in love. You know, Ayan, you make me feel things that I never thought possible. I can prove it to you if you want. He laughs softly at that, blushing brighter, and you wrap your arms around his neck, nodding, challenging him as you look into his eyes. Okay then, prove it. And that's when he pulls you in for a deeper kiss. And as your lips move against his, you can feel the heat building between you, the desire simmering just below the surface. I love you, Ion. Does I whispers, his voice filled with emotion and love. He could worship the ground that you walk down. That's literally the amount of love that he felt for you. And I love you too. You reply, your voice just as filled with feeling as his. And as you pull away from each other, you can't help but feel grateful for the love that you share and the connection that binds you together. And as you continue your walk, hand in hand, you know that your day did not simply end here. And there was a lot more, much, much more waiting for you once you got it home. And honestly, you were quite eager for it. And you were going to wait as patiently as you could just to get back home and be able to continue so you could prove it more to you just how much he loves you.